Paula Hannes avoids traveling on Melbourne's busy Sydney Road Strip at all costs, despite having it on her doorstep. This means he and his family cycle everywhere, including taking their kids to school and kindergarten using the Upfield Cycle Trail, which runs along the train line. It was a deliberate choice for us not to be dependent on the vehicle, she said. Partly for financial reasons it's definitely cheaper not to own a car, but also for lifestyle and health reasons. But before long, he may have no choice but to seize the central artery. The Victorian government has embarked initial work on Brunswick level crossing lift project, which will eventually see the track's upfield train line running parallel to Sydney Road be lifted above ground. Aiming to reduce congestion improve road safety, the project will introduce a new cycle and pedestrian path spanning the suburbs of Coburg, Brunswick. Paula Hannes will soon have no choice but to bike her kids down the bustling Sydney Road. But such a complex project comes with some temporary inconveniences. As construction accelerates, Anstey, Brunswick and Jewel train stations and the cycle path that passes by will likely have to close for years. This will leave Ms. Hannes and hundreds of other cyclists who rely on the bypass every day with few options, but to return to the hustle and bustle of Sydney Road. This threatens the sense of security one gets from traveling on private bike paths. I don't feel safe when I have to go on roads that don't have a dedicated bike lane, he said. The struggle to remove parking lots the upcoming changes have rekindled a long-held dream of Melbourne cyclists to remove parking lots on Sydney Road and replace them with segregated bike lanes. I think the price for inaction on this is lives, said Ms Hannes. These issues are well known, well documented and numerous plans have been developed. There have been 58 cycling accidents on Sydney Road in the last five years. Even trying the segregated bike lanes will make me feel safer cycling on Sydney Road as I commute with my kids to school and daycare. Even after safety improvements, by December 2022, there were 58 accidents involving cyclists on Sydney Road between Bell Street and Brunswick Road in five years. A cultural centre Sydney Road is the longest uninterrupted shopping strip in Australia. But there are also those who want to see the car parks preserved. On other corner for cyclists are Sydney Road merchants, which besides being a major street holds the title of Southern Hemisphere's longest continuous shopping strip. Every day, crazy retail shops, bridal fashion and specialty supermarkets give way to a bustling nightlife here when darkness falls. A combination not found anywhere else in Melbourne, meaning people are drawn to the lane from all other parts of the city. Tony Koga knows this very well. He estimates that 98 or 99% of his clients need parking to visit the event center for weddings.